for live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Back here on Earth, it's been a pleasant Friday morning so far, but as we head into the afternoon, we're going to see more of this like we have from our city cam with the clouds building blocking out some of the sunshine that's starting to creep further into Rhode Island. Still mainly sunny skies at Oakland Beach and barely a cloud in the sky in Newport. You can see the sun glistening off the water here, but while the radar is quiet right now, some of those building cumulus clouds will end up developing into some showers and some thunderstorms. I expect it first to start to our west communities like Springfield and Hartford, and then from there they should try to pull Push, uh, towards us as we head into the later part of the afternoon and early evening. So we'll be on the lookout for that. And it's the reason that we're under a pinpoint weather alert that threat tracker elevated to medium here. That's our heads up category two to six o'clock this evening, looking at the potential for some showers and isolated embedded thunderstorms that could contain some small hail and some gusty winds. The risk of them turning severe is low, but you know, it's still enough to force you indoors here to give you an idea of the time timing and the chance of those showers really peaking here from the late afternoon through the early evening. Notice by sunset that risk is very low again. It's not quite as warm as it was yesterday when we were already in the mid 70s. It's 68 in Cumberland right now. We have climbed back to 70 degrees at Rhode Island College, 72 in Warwick, and it's a pleasant lunchtime uh, in Newport Harbor, a little cooler at 61. Here's the setup. Low pressure spinning to our north and east. This is still going to control our weather into tomorrow, and we have these little spokes of energy, an upper level trough that's pinwheeling through New England for today, and that's what's going to help to spark that shower or thunderstorm. And again, you can see some of the clouds working their way southward and out of those clouds. Eventually, we do expect to see some storms. This is the Storm Prediction Center looking at the risk of severe weather. We were in the marginal category yesterday, today down a level to just general thunderstorms. But again, maybe active for a few hours this afternoon. This is three o'clock, so things change in here over the next few hours. In the later afternoon, early evening, during the evening commute, could be dodging some rain showers and some gusty thunderstorms. And then overnight tonight, it all quiets down. So 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, starting off with sunshine. And while the risk of any showers or storms is very, very low for tomorrow, I do think we'll once again see the clouds tend to billow up, but not producing any precipitation. So this afternoon, again, keep an eye out to the sky if you're out and about the temperatures falling from the low 70s here in the next hour or two back into the 60s as the clouds and the shower threat increases. Mostly sunny at our beaches right now. We could see a late shower more towards the early evening at the shoreline. And if you're planning on heading out on the boat, just use extra caution here. Take that pinpoint weather app with you to track any of these storms with our interactive radar. The clouds will tend to clear out overnight. It'll be a cool one with temperatures down to 51 degrees. Our high tomorrow, 70. We have us dry again, but with clouds building and the temperature running about four degrees cooler than normal. It's similar on Sunday. You've got plans for Sunday. We're dry most of the daylight hours. The rain chances will start to go up by about five or six o'clock Sunday evening. So finishing out the evening with some showers and those will turn to a widespread heavier rain Sunday night and Monday and early next week. 